Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Or if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, then welcome to the channel. Here we make car detailing related videos, whether it be product tests and comparisons, or just reviews, car washing, and anything to do with car detailing and car care. So today we're about to start our next test. So what we like to do here is we get a bunch of products, we line them up, and we then apply them to a test panel that we leave outside in the sun, in the rain, in all the elements for however long the products last. Each week we go in, we wash, we check how the water behavior is, and we just try and find a general winner. So this is the second time I've done this with comparing products from different brands. Um, so our previous winner is moving forward into this test, which was Bowden's own bead machine. I'll put it up against a few different products and I'll put a link in the description um, to that series. But we put it up against a bunch of products, including some ceramic sprays, as they are called, such as the Turtle Wax equivalent. So this time, since it was the winner, we're putting it up against some graphene spray coatings. So yeah, we have Ethos, Ethos uh, Resist Graphene Hybrid Coating. We have 303 Graphene Nano Spray Coating. Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused Flex Wax. That's quite a title, a lot of words there. And obviously Bowden's own bead machine. So I'll quickly run through the prices of these products um, and yeah, the size of the bottle, the claimed durability. So the Ethos Resist, um, I just bought the 236 mil bottle because obviously I don't need a huge bottle, I'm just doing a little test. Um, but so that is $40 for that small bottle you have here. So obviously a little just small bottle, but enough to do a couple of cars I would still assume. Um, you can also get it in a 473ml size for $65 and the claim on this product is 6 months plus durability. Um, they do also say that you can use this as a topper on their graphene ceramic coating that they also offer. Um, but I'm just going to be using it as a standalone which they also say that you get 6 months standalone. Um, next we have the 303 graphene nano spray coating. Um, so this one will cost you, this is all Australian retail prices by the way, this one's going to cost you $50 Australian. Now you can get it obviously on sale um, as all the sort of big automotive stores here in Australia stock this one from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, $50 retail and it is a 709ml bottle um, and they actually claim one year plus durability. So I'd be interested to see how that goes. Um, Next we have the Turtle Wax, I'm not going to say the whole name every time, it's just too long, but the Turtle Wax Graphene. Um, that one is a 680ml bottle and they don't actually, from what I've seen, they don't make any claims on durability or how long it'll, it's going to last. Um, from searching I've seen people saying that they've heard six months, um, but there's nothing on the bottle and there's nothing on their website that I saw that claimed any durability, um, which I don't think any of their other products did either, I'm not too sure, but either way, I really do hope it is a lot better than their previous product, which I did in the test, which was their ceramic spray coating, because um, that stuff was terrible. It did not do well in the previous test. It, um, it came fifth out of sixth. It didn't last very long at all before it started to really fail. So I'm hoping this stuff's better, because this is really expensive. This was $70 a bottle in Australia. That is a lot of money for a spray sealant. Um, they're claiming a lot of stuff on here, a lot of ingredients go into making it, which is all well and good, but will it actually perform and last is the question. And then next we have Bowden's own bead machine, 500 mil bottle is $33, and also no claims on durability made by the company, um, but in the previous test, where I put it against the five, uh, five other spray sealants. Um, it was the winner and it lasted around four months. And that is four months of sitting outside. So, I mean, if your car is garage and driven on the, only on weekends, I don't know how long, it, much longer it would be, but definitely a little bit extra durability um, you'd get out of it. But so 
that's what we're gonna be comparing it. So we know that's gonna last four months, as long as I apply it the same way I did last time. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's just have a look at the panel. So you can see I have the four sections taped up. Um, I've written down where they're each gonna go. So I've got the Ethos 303, Turtle Wax, and the Bowden Zone. And I've learned my lesson. This time, the tape is going to be removed after we apply, um, just to make it easier for the sheeting test as it sort of continues on. And I'll just get a, a paint pen to be able to write which is which, but we should be able to see we've got some bare sections where there's nothing applied, um, mainly in front. Uh, we've got the tape, which is a wider tape, so we'll be able to see clearly where one starts and one finishes. So yeah, it should be a pretty interesting test. Some of these products are pretty expensive, so if something like the bead machine is clearly superior again, then yeah, it's, it's a big waste of money to buy something like this Turtle Wax one for $70 when you could buy um, $33 or so less than half the price for the, for the Bowden Zone. So maybe these are all going to be far superior, but we don't know until we try them. So yeah, with that said, um, this is the same panel we did it on have completely stripped everything off that was on this. There is no more protection left, even removed the ceramic coating. I had some CarPro C quartz down in this little corner section. I've removed that. I've compounded this. It has been um, prep sprayed. It's completely bare, clean, and ready to apply the products. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's apply our first product, which is gonna be the Ethos Resist. Um, so. Got some directions on there. Spray directly into a fresh mock fiber towel. Um, gonna use the applicator pad, a little bit easier to keep it even and not end up going into other areas. Even went with some sort of rectangular ones this time rather than the round ones I used last time. But yeah, we're going to spray it um, onto this. Spread evenly and then wipe off. It doesn't say anything about um, letting it dwell, so it just says you should see the product spreading and quickly flashing away and then to wipe down the remaining with a microfiber towel. So give this a good shake up. And yeah, we'll go a couple of sprays. Um, doesn't say how much, so. Small little sprayer, so we'll do a few. Pop that down and let's try this out. And definitely see where it's applying. We'll do a cross hatch pattern, just like a ceramic coating. They weren't wrong about it flashing away. And this is looking to be very easy to apply. So be safe, go back over. There we go. Put that one down. Trying out these new, to me at least, um, Economax microfibers. 50 pack, really cheap. Hopefully they are decent. But so, yeah, it does say it'll flash quickly, which yes, it did. I can't even see it on the panel anymore. And that is super slick. So it says to wipe off any remaining. Um, I can't even see it if I'm honest. So here's a couple of areas. So that is really easy to use to be honest that's going off the previous test that i did i remember the bowdens which is obviously also in this test being similar it almost doesn't need to be wiped off it almost flashes straight into the paint yes yeah, so there we go that's the ethos done i just want to make sure i definitely wipe everywhere but yeah i mean it's that's it so no no black graphene residue from this one, which I know some of the other ones are gonna give us, but there we go. Okay, next up, 
303 graphene nano spray coating. So this one, obviously we're all applying them the same way. Um, but yeah, this one does say to allow application, after application, allow product to cure and haze white. Buff off with a clean microfiber towel. After buffing, no cure time is needed um, to, before introducing the water, but we're gonna let all these cure for 24 to 48 hours before we do our first initial rinse test. So just making sure it's definitely shaken up. Okay, that is black straight away. So that's what I expected from these graphene products. So work this one in. Definitely see this one being applied. It is quite thick. I'll probably spray it a little bit too much to be honest, but. So much easier to, well, it's got a smell to it too. Much easier to see where we've applied on this one because it is thick and oily basically. And oh, that smell is not nice. That is terrible. The ethos, I forgot to actually mention, actually smelt good. It had a, uh, I don't know, like a citrusy kind of smell to it. This stuff smells really bad. I kind of wish I didn't have my garage door closed now. Oh, I'm gonna step away from this while it hazes. Yeah, that is strong smelling. Grab our microfiber. And we'll give that a couple of minutes come back and I'll show you guys how it looks after it's hazed and then we'll buff it off. Okay, so it's been like around two minutes. Um, I can see that it's kind of hazed and I can see kind of white sections in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff it off. So. Not picking up the black that I expected. Maybe that's the benefit of letting it completely haze. And see that it's definitely wiping off. So yeah, video I watched of this stuff being applied, there was black residue on the microfiber from wiping off. I'm not getting that, so. Um, definitely got it on the applicator pad. Uh, maybe I didn't remember it right from the video I watched. But yeah, so just making sure we wipe that off. But it's quite easy to see when you've removed it because it was quite thick. And yeah, I could see the, the haze that it mentioned. So definitely doesn't feel slick when wiping it off compared to the ethos that felt extremely slick wiping it off. This feels quite, I guess, grippy compared, but there we go. So that is removed. As you can see, we've got kind of no, no real black graphing. You can see like a, a tiny bit, but yeah, I guess when comparing it, to the ethos, you can actually see it a little bit. But yeah, now we'll move on to our next one. Okay, so next up, the Turtle Wax. So this one, same directions basically, they're all pretty much the same. It says two sprays per panel on a dry paint surface. This is the base coat option. They do offer some other ways to use it, such as a drying aid and stuff, but we're going for the best. Um, you know, longest lasting way of applying, which is obviously going to be dry. So yeah, two, two sprays per panel. So this will be two sprays for this little section, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, to wipe off with the second cloth. Mentions using a wet cloth if you're getting streaking. Um, hopefully we don't. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's get this one sprayed on. Okay, so did kind of two and a half sprays. It's not black like the 303 was, so that's interesting. And it doesn't smell bad like the 303 graphene did either so far. Let's work this in. 
definitely see it going on. It's not like the ethos where it was really light and kind of instantly was flashing as I was wiping it in. Yeah, definitely not a bad smell compared to the 303. It's actually kind of a, a nice-ish smell. Bit of a fragrance in it for sure. That 303, I actually ended up wiping a little bit more after I stopped recording to let it haze because I realized because it's not so bad, I was just desperate to get away from it. So I realized I probably didn't wipe it in long enough. So I ended up going over it a couple more passes. But yeah, this stuff, you can clearly see it's on there. So it's definitely got full coverage. Let's go up this side one more time. So yeah, doesn't mention, so it does not mention anything about letting it cure. So I'll just double check that. So yeah. Okay, so nothing about letting it haze like the 303, so we're gonna wipe this straight off. All this stuff is not easy to wipe off. This is like not a nice product to use. I would not wanna do this over a whole car. The rest of them so far have just been, like you can feel it removing. This I'm having to actually apply some force to wipe it smooth. I can see why they mentioned using a wet cloth because this is terrible. You'd be, um, yeah, really soft paint. You'd just be swirling it up, trying to wipe this stuff off. Luckily, we don't worry. We're not caring about this test panel for getting swirls in it because I didn't even try and remove them all in the first place. But yeah, this is unbelievable that <laughs> how bad this is to wipe off. Left a bunch of little spots. And yeah, this is obviously why they say use a damp microfiber because it would be easier to remove that way. But I feel like that's going to not give us as good performance from the product. So I don't want to introduce any reason why any product is different from the rest. I want to apply them all the same um, as per directed, but yeah, I don't want to wipe this one down with water and feel like I've kind of costed a little bit of its durability. So I think I've got all that off. I'm going to go over the light, make sure I got everything, but yeah, don't enjoy using that product at all. And also no black sort of graphene left on the microfiber. But yeah, I'm gonna grab the torch, I'm gonna go over this and just to ensure I've got everything. All right guys, last up, Bowden's own bead machine, our current winner so far for our sealant tests. And yeah, this stuff I remember being incredibly easy to apply. So far though, the ethos, easiest by far. No flashing time, no curing time. It flashes itself basically off. Um, so this stuff was pretty similar. So let's uh, get this on the panel. No bad smell from this one, but Ethos was the best smelling for sure. And obviously no black coming onto the microfiber applicator, being that it is not a graphene product. But I mean, with this stuff, it's, I'm still wiping it in and I feel like, like I don't have enough on the applicator, but it's just, I'm just gonna put more, an extra spray, because it's just, you don't even see it going on. So I'm just worried that I didn't 
skill enough. And it basically flashes off as you apply it. So obviously that makes it really easy, but yeah, just being this is a test where we want to give everyone a fair chance so to make sure I just have it um, evenly applied. But yeah, I mean, that makes it kind of easy, I guess. So yeah, that's definitely worked in. Grab our last microfiber and nice and easily buff it off even though there's nothing that really looks like we're buffing off it looks like it's basically flashed itself it would be interesting to to see if you even what happens if you just don't even wipe this off just work it in and then leave it super easy so come around just because I can't see it when I'm wiping it off, I probably need to be a bit more careful that I do get everywhere, but I'm sure that's fine. Okay guys, have removed the tape. And I can actually, mainly when I come over this side under the lights, I can actually see a clear difference. I wonder if this light will help. So here's the tape line. So you can actually see, I think it's better without the light, you can actually see the products, whether they've done anything. Now, I mean, it's easiest under this, under certain lighting. So like right here, the turtle wax clearly is super black. It's clearly like, I'd say it's had the biggest effect for sort of darkening the paint. I can see it from any direction. I can see the Bowdens as well. So I don't know if you guys can pick that up in the camera. Probably not, it is pretty subtle. The turtle wax I will say, you can definitely see that. Coming over to the 303, not as noticeable, but you can definitely see the difference between the bear where the tape was and then the ethos it's probably due to the light not hitting it as much so I'll try and move this across a bit so yeah the ethos I can see a little bit it's probably similar to the Bowden's it's made definitely, yeah, the Bowden's has definitely made a difference. Turtle Wax is quite dark compared. And 303, a little bit of a difference. So yeah, I'd say the Turtle Wax has definitely done the most for making the paint look black. But I found some sections where I'd been wiping that quite hard and I found some sections that still needed to be wiped. So yeah, it does work as far as making the paint look darker and richer, but it is a lot of work. So yeah, this now is going to sit for 24 to 48 hours, depending which day I can get this out. And we're gonna do a slickness test to see, you know, which one feels the slickest, but just off right now. Maybe the turtle wax and the Bowdens definitely feel the slickest, but we're gonna leave them for, like I said, a day or two. And we're gonna do a slickness test. We're gonna do a first initial rinse test. And then from then on, it's gonna be sitting outside in the sun, in the rain, birds crapping on it. And we'll see how they look week after week. So hopefully you guys are keen to see this test continue. Um, yeah, four popular products and one that is completely left of field, not similar to the other ones, but considering how well it lasted and how good the water behavior was, I'm really keen to see how it does here. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be it for this initial application video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, as always, I really enjoy making these, so it does help when people actually enjoy watching them. And really big thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Um, 
yeah, it's been really amazing growth. I'm looking to try and get this to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year, 2021. So if you guys would like to help me out by clicking the subscribe button if you haven't already, we'd really appreciate that. And if you haven't already clicked the thumbs up button down below and given this video a like, then go ahead, click that while you're down there and leave me any comments. Let me know what do you think. If you've used any of these, what did you think? And which one do you think is going to win? It's going to go on for a few months, so it's hard, it's early to call it. Um, I have no idea, basically. I know the 303 is claiming a year of durability. That sounds like it'll be the winner, but we'll see if it actually does last that long. So yeah, I'll wrap it up here. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll catch you later.